It's so tempting this time of year, isn't it? You're starting to see those weeds come up in the fall. You just battled your butt off all summer long to keep the warm season weeds away. And now you're having to fight the cool season weeds again. Well, today on Budget Lawns, I'm going to tell you why you should just forget about them. They're not that big of a deal. Quit stressing. Don't try to kill them. Look, I totally get it. Some of these philosophies might not be shared by all. And that's okay. There's probably two types of people that, that don't agree with me. The ones that have something to sell and then the ones that are worry warts, that let their obsessions get the best of them. But I am just here to give you a little peace of mind, okay? Uh, I, I, I've had some success with weeds. I was told, you know, not even a year and a half ago when my lawn looked like this that I was making a huge mistake by not using a weed killer on them to get rid of them. Instead, I ignored all that advice and just said, I'm going to mow it and mow it and mow it and mow it. And this lawn has still never seen a broadcast treatment of weed killer. And I, I, I think it's just my humble opinion that the results speak for themselves. Mow a lot, water properly, fertilize regularly, and spot spray some weeds. That's all I've ever done, and I promise you, you will have a beautiful green lawn. You don't need to freak out about it every time something goes wrong. Welcome back to another episode of Budget Lawns, my friends. I appreciate you being here. If it's your first time, I hope it's not your last. If you find this information helpful at all, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below. I can't believe I'm saying this, but there is a good chance that I have gotten my last day of lawn care in for the season. A full mow, edge, and blow this weekend. It really is looking dang good for the first week of October. We have had like really prime conditions to extend the season out a little bit further than usual. Plenty of rain, decently warm temperatures, but all that has changed over the last several days. A plummet in temperatures, cold overnights in the 30s with a little bit of frost in the morning. Well, that can only mean one thing for the Bermuda grass. Its days are numbered and we're about to start going dormant here before too long. But with all that said, I've got some weeds in the lawn. Now, I am pretty much weed free, but when you're weed free, those weeds that you do have really do stick out and kind of drive you crazy, don't they? Well, here's my approach to dealing with them. Today, we're going to talk about a few things you should and shouldn't do about weeds in your lawn this time of year as we're heading into the off season. First and foremost, just leave the weed killer on the shelf. I'm sure there will be disagreement on that, but if you ask me, there is no reason to kill the weeds at all. If you're just dying to, maybe go out and spot treat, but a full broadcast treatment of weed killer this time of year is not a good idea. I say just leave the weed killer on the shelf all together. Here's why. Look, the cold, cold temperatures, freezing temperatures will be here before you know it. And guess what's going to happen to pretty much every single weed in your lawn right now? It's eventually going to die back for the winter. Yes, it might be unsightly to look at, but guess what? You won't have to look at it for long. Weed killer, no need to use it. You should have already gotten your pre-emergent down, which will help prevent weeds through the colder months, okay? I'm gonna leave a video linked down in the description that will tell you about my schedule that I use to prevent weeds so that I don't have to kill them. What you should be doing instead is just making sure you're getting the string trimmer or the lawnmower out and knocking those weeds down before they go to seed. What you don't wanna do before it gets really cold and kill them off is let them go to seed, drop those seeds into the ground, and then those will germinate next spring when the temperatures get a bit warmer, especially if you've missed that pre-emergent scheduled application. Now, if you've done it, you're going to prevent most of them, but you can't be surprised if you do have some breakthrough despite using a pre-emergent herbicide. 
It happens. All you can do is do your best to prevent as many as possible those that do pop up you can take care of them. But what you wanna make sure you do this fall is keep them cut down, don't let them go to seed. That'll save you headaches next spring. So you're probably wondering, oh, let me get this straight. It doesn't really make sense. I've got weeds in my lawn and you're telling me not to kill them now? Well then, when can I kill them? I get it. Totally reasonable thought and a great question. I've never used a weed killer in my lawn in the fall. I think the best time to use any weed killers is in the late spring, early summer. That little transition period where temperatures are getting warmer and you're going to have some cool season weeds still lingering in the lawn, along with some warm season weeds starting to pop up. That's a great time to kill weeds because you can kill both warm and cool season weeds at one time. And then from that point on through the rest of the season when it gets really, really hot during the summertime, you don't really want to be spraying a weed killer on your lawn anyways. So you can just spot treat those that are just driving you absolutely nuts. I promise you it will be okay if you don't touch them this fall. Wait until next spring or early summer when they all start popping up because I don't care if you've used a pre-emergent or not, you're going to have a few weeds. And finally, don't do this. If you ask me, it is a bad idea. But as we go into the off season, if you dealt with any crabgrass throughout the summer, you're going to have these big patches that start dying off and they're gonna stick out like a sore thumb. You're gonna notice them and you're gonna be super tempted to go in and tear all that dead material of crabgrass out because you just don't wanna look at it through the winter. Stop, don't, it's dead. It's not doing you any harm at all. It's more likely doing you good because it's acting as a placeholder, a cover on that ground. If you tear it all out, you're gonna open it up and it's gonna be bare again as to say, hey, weed seeds floating in the air through the winter, come here, come get comfy in my soil, make a home in my lawn and germinate to give me more weeds to worry about. Look, it's not doing anything. If you let it go to seed during the summer, it probably drops some seeds there, but it's not going to start germinating until it gets warm next spring and summer. And that's what you're gonna use a pre-emergent to prevent. It's not hurting you, just leave it. You will be just fine, you'll tackle it next spring, all that stuff's gonna start breaking down anyways. Just consider it like uh, organic material being added to your lawn. All right, my friends, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Budget Lawns. I appreciate you joining me as always. I hope to see you next time.